ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the shop. I've got a new um, tool acquisition here to share with you. Um, under the cover here. <laughs> uh, before we take a look at it, let me uh, tell you a little bit about how I acquired this. So, um, one of my neighbors who's now since moved away, and I still keep in contact with him, um, he is the uh, swap meet, flea market, um, uh, estate sale king. <laughs> So he's a, he's a retired guy, and, and one of his uh, hobbies is to, is to go around to these estate sales and flea markets and, and uh, see what kind of tools and so forth he can pick up. Um, does he, generally, he gets hand tools and power tools and so forth, and, and he does a lot of horse trading and whatnot. So um, he's found some really good items for me. Uh, uh, and one of the things I mentioned that, hey, I need um, uh, a nice die stock. Um, I'm, I, I don't have um, a good selection of them. Um, I don't do a lot of die threading. It's usually just tapping. So he called me up um, a couple weeks ago and said, hey, I, um, I picked up this um, tap and die set you might be interested in. And... Uh, of course, right away, I'm thinking, okay, it's probably an import, <laughs> probably a little ace set, something like that. I go, okay, all right, well, what do you got? He goes, well, it's it's in a big wooden box. Go, okay, well, that sounds interesting. I go, can you um, send me a photo? So he sent me a, um, a text message photo, which was pretty blurry. Um, but I looked at it and I go, you know what? That looks pretty interesting. Um, he goes, oh, okay, I'll, I'll be swinging by your area, you know, in about a week or so. I'll bring it along and see if you want it. So um, let's have a look at what we got here. Okay. So there you go. Um, I don't know how well this is showing up on the camera, but this is the little giant. Tap and Die, manufactured by the Wells Brothers Company, Greenfield, Massachusetts. Okay, nice box. Um, we're missing one one uh, latch here. This one's still good. The uh, box is in pretty good shape. Before we open it, I did a little research on the company. And let me read off what we got here. So, um, in 1876, uh, the brothers Frederick Wells and Frank Wells uh, left the Wiley and Russell's Manufacturing Company to start their own business. Um, they located in the small building on the north bank of the Green River, short distance upstream from the Wiley and Russell, under the company name of the Wells Brothers and the brand of Little Giant. Uh, they made thread cutting tools, caps and dies, etc. Okay, so then in 1879, Franklin Snow entered the Wells Brothers organization and the firm became known then as the Wells Brothers and Company. Okay, uh, they grew rapidly competing with the Wiley and Russell Tools Company. Okay, so then in uh, 1888, they moved to a larger factory and they incorporated under the name the Wells Brothers Company, and that's what we got here, the Wells Brothers Company. Okay, that's 1888. In 1900, uh, Frederick Wells left the company with, and with his son, and they went off and formed another company known as the F.E. Wells and Sons Company. Um, but this one, um, in 1912, the Wells Brothers Company was acquired by the Greenfield Tap and Die Corporation. Okay. And uh, the Wells Brothers Company name was discontinued after 1916. So, all that said, the newest this could be, according to this, what I found this, by the way, I got this off of vintagemachinery.org, uh, um, Keith Rucker's uh, um, uh, collaboration there. Um, 
So the newest this could be is 1916. <clears throat> so let's open it up and see what we got. Alrighty. So this is a number 65 little giant. Um, size ranges from quarter inch up to three quarter. It's got the instructions. <laughs> I thought this was really cool. Use plenty of lard oil. <laughs> okay. Now, one thing here I'm not sure of. Um, this is labeled a V oversize. Um, I haven't been able to find any data on that, although I have found um, um, oversized tap and die sets, and usually they're about five thousandths oversize. And what I've been able to read up on is that was used um, uh, for tapping or threading uh, when, when they had to do heat treating afterwards to allow for the shrinkage. Um, so, anyways, um, every, every die in here has its own <laughs> dedicated handle, which is really interesting. So the smaller sizes are up here, and then we have one you know, our typical Greenfield style uh, tap handle. Amazingly, all the, all, the, all the taps are original except for two of them, which is just, you know, 100 years and, and still the original taps is just amazing. And the condition is incredible. I know I, I have cleaned this up when I got it. There was, <clears throat> it was there was a lot of dirt and chips and so forth, um, so I, I did I did do a cleanup. But the uh, condition of these taps and everything is just phenomenal. The um, let me find one that's a little easier to read here. The uh, the lettering and engraving is really elegant with the company name and the little giant logo on there really nice one of the things I'm not sure of is they all have okay they've got the the size like for example this one's a 5 8 and with the 11 threads but it's got the 132 and I haven't been able to figure out what this additional fraction means, and they all have that. Um, so if anybody knows, um, uh, leave a comment and let me know about that. Let's take a look at another one here. All right, so here's the half inch, and here's another interesting, it's half by 12. Um, and of course we know it should be half by 13 for national course. And it has the 132 in here as well, okay? And the uh, corresponding die is also half by 12. So um, half by 12, from what I was able to find out, uh, that kind of went obsolete around World War I, roughly, that time frame. Um, okay, so two of the taps um, <clears throat> are not original. The uh, the quarter 20, they had, when I got the set, it just had a, a random one in there. So I rummaged through and I found this one is actually a Wells Brothers tap. I had it in my collection. So I swapped out the one that came with the set and put this one in. It's, it's not a true taper tap, although it's fairly tapered but it has the same company name. And then the, what do we got here? The 7 sixteenths was also not the correct original. And I rummaged around and I found a, <laughs> I found a Greenfield 7 sixteenths by 14, which we'll talk about in a minute. Okay. So, um, notice where they're located, Greenfield, Massachusetts, <laughs> okay. Um, okay, so anyways, let's take a look in the bottom here. I don't know how well this is showing up, but we'll, we'll try to get some close-ups. There's the larger sizes. I mean, 
I'm I'm blown away by the the quality and I mean just having a, a, a handle for every size is is amazing. Um, the um, and the finish on these it's everything is color color case hardened. I don't know how well this is going to show up, but it's just just beautiful color case hardening. Unfortunately, there is surface rust on a few of these. What do we got here? Here's the half 12. Okay. Yeah, we got some surface rust on the handles here. And then here's the 5 8 Just beautiful finish on, on, on these, just incredible. So the, all the dies are adjustable. You got a set screw on each side so you can adjust the depth of cut. <clears throat> and they have a guide block here um, to help you get started and, and keep, you know, keep the, uh, the die running straight. And the way these work, this guide block unscrews. Of course, these were all in there pretty tight. I had to make a make a little tool to get these out <clears throat> and you can remove the dies they have they have matching serial numbers and so forth um, and from what I've been able to read um, you can still get replacement uh, jaws dies uh, from Greenfield that will actually fit these so I'm excited about that amazingly they're in phenomenal shape. Um, there's only two that are damaged. The, uh, the 3 8 has some chipping. Let's see if we can find it here. The 3 8 has a couple little chips. <clears throat> um, it's, it's not bad enough to hurt the operation, but just a couple little um, nicks on the leading edges. You see this one's got a fair amount of surface rust. Looks like the 3 8 and the 7 16 were the have the most use on them. Let's see, here's the 7 16 And interesting, the, the, the guide, I don't know if you call them teeth or the, or the guide um, bosses, they've, they've picked up some threads over the years. Um, you know, probably from doing re-threading operations or just, or just, you know, bringing, bringing them back off the material. Um, the smaller ones, the handles are solid all the way out, and the larger ones, these handles are hollow and they unscrew. And, of course, all these have the same setup. The guide block unscrews, and you've got the, uh, the dies that are adjustable. Yeah, let's take a closer look at the at the tap handle here. It's uh, basically the same as what you see in the modern Greenfield tap handle. It does have well on this side. It still has the the nice color case hardening. A little bit, well, fair amount of surface rust on this one. Now I thought about, you know, how can I get clean the surface rust off. Um, I've degreased these. Uh, you you want to be really careful um, with using like evapo rust or any of the rust removers. Uh, in, case, in case you don't know, the, um, the color case hardening and or bluing, um, it's a form of rust. So if you put this in a, a, a rust remover, it will take that beautiful color case hardening off. And we don't want that to happen. So I think the best thing to do here is just leave it the way it is and not do anything else. Uh, the, uh, the box is beautifully made. All the, all the corners are finger jointed. 
the um, there is one problem here on the top there should be another block over here from what I can tell and the I mean the, the, the it's been banged around a little bit but overall it's it's in really good shape So I'll get a bunch of close-ups um, so you guys can have a look at this. Um, it's really interesting and, and amazing the the workmanship. Um, I'm <laughs> I don't know what to do with this. Um, you know, my, I, I'm, I I really enjoy old antique tools, but I'm not a but I'm not a collector. Um, the condition this set is in, I mean, it should really be in the hands of a collector. So I'm really considering, you know, putting this up for auction. Uh, I could convert that into other tools I need for the for the shop. You know, I'm, I'm a home hobbyist shop. I don't have a lot of budget for tooling and so forth. Um, so guys, let me know what you think. Um, or, or if anybody's interested, let, let me know. Um, I really don't know what it's worth. Um, I've, I've seen a few out there on eBay that are demanding, you know, fairly high pricing and they're not anywhere near the condition that this set is in. Um, you know, it, it, it'd be a shame to, to, uh, uh, to abuse this set and, uh, it, it, it should be preserved the way it is. It's it's really a piece of history. I mean, it's it's, it's at least a hundred years old, maybe a little bit more. Uh, just uh, really interesting. Okay, guys. Um, so I think that's going to be a wrap. Um, I'll get a bunch of stills and close-ups, and. Let you guys have a look at it. I, uh, I think it's really interesting, just amazing. <laughs> you know, the um, uh, they do have. I, in fact, I have one. I have a later set that I got from the same guy. My neighbor's borrowing it right now. And what they did in the later sets is rather than having individual handles, they have they had a master handle. In fact, I've got one up here. This is this is one that I I've had. They had a master handle, something like this and each die had its own um, uh, uh, stock assembly and you just you just replaced the entire die it still had the adjusting on the back and the uh, and the movable dies um, but they only used one handle in the later sets um, and those are the ones that Greenfield was selling. I think they still sell them, and the, it's the same. It's the same insert die. Um, so, anyways, there you go. Um, I'll get some close-ups and uh, and uh, see what you guys think.
almost like an artist painted them. Okay. Got them flipped over so you can see the other side here. 